There you go. Video. <laughs> Mr. Bombastic Bomba Monkey <laughs> Oh no, poor doggy What is that? <laughs> it's gonna hit his butt. <gasps> Why does she have a fucking rat? <laughs> crocodiles. I don't even know if that's a crocodile, but I remember reading that a crocodile um, actually doesn't even die from old age. They usually die from a disease or getting killed in, in some sort of way. And the, 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 the longest... Uh, living crocodile has lived up to like 130 plus years. Kadai Rokres no EQ Toksen. So stay young ban no nomaga san chaku de Goban no tome. What's going on? Lui Lui Uto Dale Patawan. <laughs> cutest freaking cat ever <laughs> so cute oh, wow Is it in there? Do you know what the difference is between an alligator and a crocodile? One will see you later, the other will see you in a while. Wow, so funny. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Even Harper wants a bit. Go on. <gasps> Before I actually uh, thought like this is cool, like t going on like the water rides and or getting splashed from the water rides, but now I just feel so gross if like even a speck of water from these rides touches me. Anytime a guy puts his hand over your belly button, we're gonna create a little space. You're having four? No, it's the same one. Oh. So, Eric, we ordered this 24 guy. We got it. Brett. Oh, yeah, boy. You. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where the heck did the cat come from? Wasn't it like in the old days before like golf when 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 like they didn't have security and shit whenever like the famous golfer would put the ball into the the hole then the audience would like run to see who could grab it first we call them the balls Oh that was pretty fucking sick dude That was so smooth. <laughs> That's me and Numi on the dance floor.
pizza. Why though? Got about a 70 degree angle here. 72, approximately. God damn, bro. <laughs> wait, I, wait, I could do that. I could do that with my thumb too. <laughs> Prove it. Oh God, wait, if I, if I took a picture of my fingernails right now and showed it to you guys, you would, you would be like, oh, hell no, nah. because it, uh, all of my nails, I ripped off my fake acrylic nails. And so like some of, some of my fingers are like, uh, like part, partly like scabbed and like bleeding because I ripped it, it too far. Never seen anything like this. Push, yeah. Holy, yeah, bro. I love cats like that. They're so fluffy. Farts about your precious snowflake self. Oh. <laughs> So silky smooth. What the hell, dude? She's not even trying to cover it. <laughs> Is this true? Does this happen? Does because because can anyone confirm <laughs> all the time very true <laughs> military <laughs> moment Wait, were humans around when dinosaurs were alive? That can't be, right? Because dinosaurs got wiped out from like the Big Bang, right? Is that it? Wait, wait, no, wait, the bi no, the Big Bang, the Big Bang was what started the Earth, right? Like life on Earth? I don't know. The earth. Oh, it started the universe. Right, right. Well, like it's a theory, or like I don't even know. It's it's a th oh yeah, it's a theory because like Big Bang theory. <laughs> oh my God, dude, that's terrible. I hate that. Imagine, imagine the glass just exploding because of the hot pasta in there. Um. Oh my gosh, I remember uh, one time I went to a, a small convention and um, my phone's name is Certified Titty this has Boy. This a daily user reminder to stay in school, kids. Shut up, shut up. My, my, my name is Certified Titty Boy, and I sent, a, uh, I airdropped a, a bunch of, like, uh, Spongebob, uh, uh, you know those memes of, like... New video idea, the history of the world, I guess. By our Shrek sassing slay queen Mafuzu. Yeah, that would that that would be like in the in the case of of 
Professor Landl type beat. Yuzu literally 15 minutes ago. I may be bad at math, but I'm good at science Yuzu now. The Big Bang wiped out the dinosaurs. <laughs> That's not the point, guys. That's not the point. There's different sciences. Different sciences. <laughs> <laughs> and now I lost my train of thought. So fuck you. Last night. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh no, the the story of me airdropping things. I, you know, the pre freaking pictures, like the SpongeBob pictures, where where Patrick is like, <clears throat> but then like it's not, it's not safe for work. It's like a bunch of wife stuff stuff all over him, and it's like, <clears throat> or the one with with Squidward lying down on his his sunbathing uh, outdoors chair, but then like. He he has two feet up and two feet uh down and then like you can see his pussy. <laughs> I I airdropped a bunch of those to like people around me at the convention and it was so fucking funny because you could see the people who are genuinely confused. Last night, <laughs> I was in a car accident. Okay, well, that's not the same. Oh my god, how are you okay? What the hell is that? Bring it up, bring it up. Oh. Holy shit. Reel it up, reel, 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 reel. Bring it up, bring it up. Up, 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 up. Carter! Up. Carter! Finally! Oh my gosh. I've been having this son of a bitch for four years now. We got him. We got God him. damn, it's the Get Bob. What is that? Is that a what is that? That's not a dog or a cat. It's like a fox or something. Or like a oh like a wolverine does it what does a wolverine look like <laughs> check dms okay history of the entire world i guess wait wait this is actually a video Hi. Bitch, this is 19 minutes, dude. This is 19 fucking minutes. Oh god, okay. All right. Is this is this something you want to watch? Is this what we're watching? Oh god, okay. You're on a rock, floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. I can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm sad. I miss you. Sad. A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like I said, right. it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. He's not even making sense. Forget this. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Quarks and stuff. Ah, that's a thing. In a Quarks. place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. Okay. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Great news, the quarks are now happily married in groups of three, called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around too that wants to join in but can't because it's still too- Great news, the protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great news, the electrons have now joined in. Congratulations! There was, the dude, there was, um, this, there was a freaking video that I watched from the same dude who made the egg theory. And he was saying that eventually, um, the universe as we know it will like cease to exist because like there's no way that like the the um all of the elements like you know the elements on the periodic table right like there's no way that like the elements will like be able to like re re like cycle recycle themselves it's like a, a matter of time whether or not like the heat from the particles or like the elements will like 
completely just like distinguish itself and and then and then like implode and then like there's nothing the world is now a bunch of gas in space but it's getting closer together electrons and it's getting closer together hot but absolutely no bitches damn why is she not even here bro she catching strays and it's getting closer together it's a star new shit just got made some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some brand new, way crazier shit. Space dust. Which allows space newer, dust. more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into Even crazier space dust. So now stars have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Space like dust. this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks. And it kind of made a mess, which is... Now Weather wow. update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather update, cooler temperatures today and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update, it's raining. Severe flooding alert, the entire world is now an ocean. Volcano alert. That's land. There's nothing in the ocean. What? Something's alive in the ocean. This is oh, cool, the like same a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic um, speck. It lives at the video. bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from gnarly space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks or whatever. Oh yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Tired of living at the bottom of the ocean? Now you can eat sunlight. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. Taste the sun. Side effect. Now if there was one superpower that I would choose to have, if, if I could choose a superpower, it would be photosynthesis. I would just be self-sustaining. There's oxygen everywhere and the sky's blue. Then the earth might have been a snowball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a sponge. It's a plant. It's a worm and some other types of weird, strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the But you don't go outside? Oh, true. I would just die, actually. Never mind. An explosion. Wow, that's animals and stuff. But we're still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Oh, okay. Laser. Now the animals can go on land. Come on, animals, let's go on land. Nope, can't walk yet. And there's no food yet, so I don't care. Wait, the way I'm okay, actually understanding this. Up here? Maybe, said some bugs and fish. Mm. <laughs> Plot twist. Okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water. And and gives you Learn to use an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water in it. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg, in the water, in the egg. Works for me. Bye bye, ocean. And now everything's huge. Including bugs. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. Oh fuck, now everything's dead. Just kidding, here are the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map Ooh. of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. It does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. And the dinosaurs are gone. It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're gonna dominate the um. world and one of them just learned how to grab stuff. And walk. No, like, walk Monkey. like that. And grab stuff at the same time and bang rocks together to make pointed rocks rock. Ouch. and set things on fire Youch. and rock make crazy good. sounds with their voice which can mean different things That's a human person. and now they're everywhere almost human. what you can walk over here cool Not anymore. well i guess we're stuck here now let's review there's people on the planet and they're chasing their food fuck it time to plant some grass look at this i control the food now now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me let's all build houses except mine is bigger because i own the food this is great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Better farming was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers. And the animals are helping. Mesopotamia. I learned about that. There's the Pangea. There's the Mesopotamia. There's the... Uh... Guess yep. what happens next? More food. Yep. More people who came to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to the live in and people to make the things. houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing, laws, power. Society. Wow. Coming soon to a dank river valley near you. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the I horses... remember in like fifth grade, I think, uh, they, we learned about Mesopotamia. And then there was like a game that we played that like... There was there was like groups of four and it was like a class of of like maybe 40. Um, so like four, four, four divided by, by 40 divided by four, 10. There was like 10 groups, right? There was like 10 groups. <laughs> yeah, it was a really big class. 
but but yeah the teacher had to have an assistant but that's not the point so there was like 10 groups and like we were playing a game of mesopotamia and it was like it was it was kind of like dnd but like for social studies and so like some people would like die and they wouldn't be able to participate and like uh if they died then they would just have to do like uh like paper paperwork instead or like keep track of the group's money or keep track of like the groups like whatever the heck they needed to do and like it this happened for the course of like half of the year like it, there would be like one dedicated day that we start the um like the session and like we would like go through mesopotamia and shit it's probably being tamed why is all my metal so i died halfway through i think i died to a disease so lame and lumpy. Tired of using lame, sad metal? Introducing bronze. Made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know, my dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? Egypt. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, China. And did I mention? China. 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 The Middle East is getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Knock, knock, er, clop, clop. It's the people with the horses. And they made an empire, and then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks. Ah, look, it must be the Greeks. Oh, the or Trojan the horses. Let's check in with the things. Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? China. New arrivals in India. Maybe it's those horse people I was talking about, or their cousins, or something. And they wrote some hymns and mantras. I guess you could stuff. call it a class. We could make a clams. religion out of this. True, There's the Bronze Age actually. Phoenicians can get down to business. Also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier Phoenicians. to find? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10 step program. Here's some huge By heads. Must be the Kroger. Olmecs. The I should not be watching this while zooted iron mouse stir pie and mouse stir pie and mouse Yeah, this is this is the too this is like too big brain for colonies. me actually. The Greeks copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind, it's the Babylonian media. It's the Persian Empire. Wow, that's big. Ah, oh, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make a religion out of this. Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. Knock knock, it's Chandragupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks, bye. Time to conquer all of India. Or most of India. What about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? Merchants, probably. Okay. And they've got spices. Who would like to buy the spices? Me, said the Arabian, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again with good Dang, morals as their the way we, The way people conquered other places for spices when they could have just traded. Main philosophy. That's crazy. Actually, there are three main philosophies. Out here, the horse nomads run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians. Taking Why over buy the entire when you place. can take? Hey, said the Romans, eating the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested Who's and killed that? for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a brand new road to the world. You can get the wrong water. Sick. New trade routes, said India. Actually, <laughs> spreading the, of the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses Oh, again. I know the Remember Silk the Road. Empire? I yep, know the Silk the Road. A new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. China's home again. Then it broke again. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try camels. Hell yeah, now we got business. Said the Ghana Empire, selling camels. Lots of gold. And so, Why don't camels I have Empire, humps on their back? That don't make sense to me. No. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome. To it store won't fall. water? The they store water in their back humps. So if you were to poke their back hump, would it be like squishy? I've never seen a camel before. I think I've only seen an alpaca. I think that's the closest I've seen a camel before. There's the Gupta Empire, not Chandragupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra, the first. 
Wait. <laughs> Wait, I got more. Wait, is it not? It's not it's not water? Wait. <laughs> Wait, it's literally not water. Guess who's in Rome? I'm uh, literally uh, getting one guide. Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. What the? What was the that? Just fine, but it's not in Rome anymore. The first. Guess who's in Rome? Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. Or er, actually just half of it. The other half is just fine, but it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. The Mayans have figured out the story. I know the Mayans. City, population, everyone. The Goat Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Goat Turks. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back together. How's those trading kingdoms? Bigger and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom. Oh God, the not the Imperial Japan Desert. days. On the top of a mountain, the real God whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods and he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to not a different the land of the rising of sun. And maybe conquer the world as well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus there's new kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder if there's room for Moors. Here's all the wisdom. In a house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it. The Golden the Age. The I know coast, the Golden the Age. The Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. Want to get enlightened in the middle of nowhere? The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise, you're the new Roman Emperor, said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not, not France. Not that golden the age, oh. Just Norse, if you don't have much time, are exploring. They go north, the from the Norse. north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. Green and Iceland. They also invade some other places and get called many names, such as Vikings. There's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't think so, said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, <laughs> the Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New kingdoms. I, I, you know, the, the ones, the, the freaking meme that you guys introduced to me of like, uh, the, what, what is it called? Um, Deus Vault. Those memes crack me the fuck up, bro. Are the kingdoms. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said the William. Crusade it's a bird. Vault. It's a plane. Uh, it's the Seljuk uh, Turks, memes. said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We need help. They need help, so they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade. They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail, but at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town in a cliff. Guess who's here? Come here. Where? Here. And Pagan is there. Vietnam unconquered itself, Korea just became itself, and Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented Not bombs the and typing, it. and the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this Chad. Means lake. There's an empire there. Right in the middle of the... The king There's of Bali is so rich he's going on Chad. tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. China's oh my back. god, wait, yeah. The, the way that like... Christian. When the way that it's just like not even t talked about anymore like when the black plague happened a third of europe yeah. fucking Whoops, died half of europe just died china's back yay hey come here time to share new kingdoms here and there oh look who controls all the islands it's the mahajapit majahapit mapajahit mahapajit mapajahit majapahit oh italy's really rich time for them to care a lot about art and the ancient classics it's kind of like a rebirth Here's a printer. A Let's make books. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, said the Ottoman. You were there. It was pretty rough. How many of you guys were there for the Black Plague? Press one. And Turks. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice oh, no. trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I oh, guess no. we'll have to find another way to India. Wait, India. Is it Christopher Columbus probably smoking crack? If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry, we already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey Spain, wanna hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please, no, please, no, please. Okay, so he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean and then discovers the Indies and Japan. The let's draw Indies. a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families they might have to start marrying each other. 
Move over, um, Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great again. Move over, Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey, Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is That's bullshit. True. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reasons why, said Martin Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would be magnificent, oh. said Suleiman, wearing an onion I hat? know the, the Protestant Reformation. The Protestant? I learned about that in in religions class in college you know what would be i took a, a class where it discussed all the types of li religions like like buddhism christianity um jewish um other stuff be magnificent Bruh. said suleiman <laughs> Oh yeah, is Islam? Yeah. Wearing an onion hat. What if the Ottoman Empire was really big, which it is now? What if Russia was big? Said Ivan, trying not to be terrible. Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn. Judaism. Um, oh. Start pillaging some stuff. I then did the pass actually. Uh, I had one of the best papers. I I I had one of the best papers. I wrote. I wrote one on, on the Crusades and its impact on history. Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one, can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two, Chat, steal GPT the spice trade. That's not a question, <laughs> you guys are so mean to me. Anyway. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil, stolen in the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next thing on Russia's to-do list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world, more specifically, Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Guess who's Britain. broke? Also Britain. So they start taxing the hell out of America. Fuck you, says America, declaring Ooh. their independence and fighting for it. And France helps them win. Now France is broke. What? And Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, what? France is broke. Why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace oh, and cut all their- The way everyone thinks Marie Antoinette was it was like a good person but like remember uh she was the same person who like literally started a rich neighborhood so that they could role play as peasants heads off said robespierre cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off you can make a relit no don't hades i don't think anyone thinks that you do oh <laughs> starting to like the idea of a revolution. <laughs> Usually no one thinks that, oh. Especially the slaves who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't we think of this before? Wait, who's in charge of France now? Said Napoleon, trying to take over Europe. And Luckily, they vanished into an island. Luckily, they vanished into another island. There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain just figured it's out how to RGB turn steam into power, continent. so now they can make many different types of machines and factories with machines in them, so they can make a lot of products real fast. Then they invent some trains and conquer India and maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain. Trains. Buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. But opium. then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. Zanzibar. That's just where he lives. India just had a revolution and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. British. Technology is about to go crazy. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land oh. and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. Sad. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling to see who could rape it the fastest. Despair. Britain and France are still hungry. They never got Thailand. The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Hi, Cuba. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they blame the main on Spain. Now we're in business. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal, connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War One. Look at those guns. Oil, it's gonna okay, be a great Kona. war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike oh, no. and the workers' great war. So great we won't need a second one. 
After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism in the Soviet Union. The Arabs revolt and Britain helps. Now the Ottoman Empire is gone so we can give the Jews That's people thank you for the 13 months. Hopefully the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, carving up the remains of the not-so-Ottoman anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new Turkey. And then the Saudis conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Germany's back featuring Hitler, the angry mustache model. Jazz. He's mad at the Jews for existing. Japan is finally conquering the East, and they're so no. excited they raped Nanking way too hard, they should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea, but he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round, Pacific Showdown. United States versus Japan. Fight. Fight. Finish oh, it. Oh, God. Let's unite all the nations and have some world peace. Seems legit. Hi, I'm... It's, like, so weird to, like, hear it. Or like just like to even talk about it, but like it's legit real things that Italian. happen. United States versus Japan. Fight. Fight. Finish him. Let's unite all the nations and have some world, world peace. Seems legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to starve myself in public. Wow, that worked. Bonus, now there's Pakistan. Actually, two Pakistans. One of them can be Bangladesh later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same time. Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Psych, they both get angrier. Look out, oh, China. Gosh. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Communism. No thanks, said the other China, escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. There's the Korean oh, War. Korea God. versus Korea. Nobody wins. Then it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Fight! Wait, no. That would be the end of the world. Oh, God. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll oh, race God. you to space. Now let's make some more countries fight themselves. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad, and the world agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Okay. Technology's That's better too. That people. might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll remember that. Phone call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Want to learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail, because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots. With bombs. Want to print a brain? Some people have no friends. Some people Printing have no food. Printing a brain. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we? Um, I hacking love history. I, I hacking love how tragic that was. It like, it slowly progressively got worse and worse from from the the, the dawn of time to it, our current stage it got worse and worse what the fuck disparage oh god yep this is humanity back to a monkey we're gonna go back to becoming the primordial uh soup we're gonna go back to being in the in the ocean. How much longer do we have? Before just about Japan in the top left there. I'm kind of scared to watch that one. I'm a little scared. Me what? Me me a little nervous. Let me read the comments for it. Is it really good? Do you guys like this? It's a fun one. Okay, let's watch it. Leon, thank you for the 23 months at tier three. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's let's watch this one. It's a goaded Japan one. Japan is an okay. island by the sea filled with volcanoes. Same guy. You liked it. Very educational. Okay. And it's In the year negative a billion, Japan might not have been here. In the year negative 40,000, it True. was here. And you could walk to it. And some people walked to it. <gasps> what? You could walk to warmer, Japan in the old days. 
island, and now there's lots of trees because it's warmer. So now there's people on the island. They're basically sort of hanging out in between the mountains, eating nuts off trees, and using the latest technology, like stones、Rocks. and bowls. Ding dong! It's the outside world, and they have technology from the future. I love. I don't know why the 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 shape of Japan is so aesthetically pleasing to me. It just it just looks like a little snack, like a little chip that they want to bite into. Like really good metal and crazy rice farms. Now you can make a lot of rice really really quickly. That means if you own the farm, you own a lot of food, which is something everybody needs to survive. So that makes you king. Rice farming and rice kingdoms spread across the land, all the way to here. The most important kingdoms were here, 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 and here. Did I tell、But、you guys how my grandma's dad was a, like a big corporal guy, and like he disowned her after she married a um. Well, if I say what she, who she married, then it's gonna like kind of dox me. But、uh, she married a dude that my that her dad didn't like because like there was a stigma around them, so、uh, he disowned her and all of the stuff that she was gonna inherit from him from like his corp corpa、uh, went to his his new wife,、uh, which also his new wife、uh, didn't like my grandma, so like she was like completely. On her own, and then like she moved,、um, she moved from like a really young age, so so that she could live on her own with with her her lover. The most most important, ruled by a heavenly super person or emperor for short. Knock knock, get the door. It's religion. The new prince wants everyone to try this hot new religion from Biekt. Please try this religion, he said. No, said everybody. Try it, he said. No, said everybody again, quieter this time. And so the religion was put into place, and all the rules that came with it. Then the government was taken over by another clique, and they made some reforms, like making the government govern more and make. Looking into your family line is gonna be some wild shit. Ah,、uh, honestly, guys, like, for real, for real, my family line is like really crazy. Like, um, obviously, like if you guys look at my pictures, right? Like, I don't look full Japanese, and that's like. That's that's obvious. I'm not full Japanese because I have like indigenous bloodline in in my in in my blood. I have like two different indigenous ethnicities in inside of me. Making the government more like China's government, which is a government that governs more. Hi China, they said. Hi dipshit, said China. Can you call us something else other than dipshit? Said Japan. Like what? Said China. How about sunrise land? Said Japan. And they stole China's alphabet and wrote a book about themselves. And then they made lots of poetry and art and another book about themselves. Then they stopped moving the capital every time the emperor died and kept it in one place for a while. Right Kyoto. here. Kyoto. I love Kyoto. That's my、Get、favorite that place、right、to、away. visit. A rich hipster named Kukai is bored with modern Buddhism, visits China, and learns a better version, which is more spiritual. Comes back, reinvents the alphabet, and causes art and literature to be great for a long time. And the royal palace turned into such a dream world of art that they really didn't give a shit about running the country. So、Hi, Vaz. Welcome, palace, readers. How are you supposed to protect your shit from criminals? Thank you, Vaz. Welcome,、samurai. welcome. Everyone started hiring、Mwah. samurai. Rich, important people hired samurai. Poor people who could not afford to hire samurai did not hire samurai. The samurai became organized and powerful, more powerful than the government. So they made their own military government. Here, they let the emperor still be emperor, but the shogun is actually in control. Breaking news: The Mongols have invaded China. We've invaded China, said the Mongols. Please respect us, or else we might invade you as well. Okay,、oh. said Japan. So the Mongols came over, ready for、oh. war, and died in a tornado. But they tried again and had a nice time fighting with the Japanese. But then died in a tornado. Then the emperor、Damn. overthrew the shogun. Then the shogun. Japan is just protected by the tornadoes. That's crazy. Boss, thank you for the whole year. Thank you so much. It overthrows him back. Tornado OP, dude. Rip Bozo. Back moves to Kyoto. Makes a new shogun. And the emperor can still dress like an emperor if he wants. That's fine. Now there's more art. Like painting with less colors, collaborative poetry, plays, monkey fun, tea parties, gardening, architecture, flowers. It's time for who's going to be the next shogun. Usually it's the shogun's kid, but the shogun doesn't have a kid, so he tries to get his brother to quit being a monk and be the next shogun. He says okay, but then the shogun has a kid. So now who's it going to be? Vote now on your phones. And everyone voted so hard that the palace caught on fire and burned down. The shogun actually didn't care. He was off somewhere doing poetry, and the whole country broke into pieces. Everyone is fighting with each other for local power, and、Bruh. it's anybody's game. Knock knock. It's Europe. No, they're not here to take over. They just want to sell some shit, like clocks and guns. Oh, thank God. Jesus. So that's cool, but everyone's still fighting. That's the first time I think they ever wanted to take over. Now, guns. I'm kidding. That, that was、nice、a joke. Wouldn't it be nice to control the capital, which right now is puppets with no one controlling them? This clan is ready to make a run for it, but first they have to trample this smaller clan, which is in the way. 
Surprise, the smaller clan wins, and the Oda. leader of that clan steals the oh idea. Oh my gosh, of wait, I know the... Oda. I used to play Dynasty Warriors and or Sa Samurai Warriors, and the, is this the same no Nobunaga Oda? It's the capital, and it goes very well. He's about halfway through conquering Japan when someone who works for him kills him, and then someone else who it's works for him kills one. them. And that guy finishes conquering Japan, and then he confiscated yeah. everybody's swords and made some rules. And now I'm going to invade Korea, and then hopefully China, he said, and failed, and also died. But before he died, he told these five guys to take care of his five-year-old son until he's old enough to be the next ruler of Japan. And the five guys said, yeah, right, it's not going to be this kid. It's going to be one of us, because we're grown-ups. And it's probably going to be this guy, who happens to be way more Tokugawa rich and Ieyasu, I know him too. He's in season Samurai Warriors too. The, dude, all of all of the like historical figures that I know of in like China and and. Japan is all based off of Koei's uh Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors and Warriors and Rochi type games like 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 uh like like uh, there, there's so many there's so many like Zhuge Liang uh uh Cao Cao or whatever you call his name um what else what else um I don't know I like I'm like kind of fucking nerding out because it's so like fun funny to see like his history names in in games a lot of people support Lu Bu. But a lot of people support not supporting him. They have a fight, and he wins and starts a new government right here. Guan Yu. He still lets the emperor dress like an emperor and have very nice things. But don't get confused. This is the new government, and they are very strict. So strict they close the country. No one can leave, and no one can come in. Except for the Dutch, if they want to buy and sell shit. But they have to do it right here. Now that the entire country was not at war with itself, the population increased a lot. Business increased, schools were built, roads were built, everyone learned to read, books were published, there was poetry, plays, sexy times, puppet shows, oh. and Dutch studies. People started to sexy study times. European science from books they bought from the Dutch. We're talking geography, skeletons, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and maybe even electricity. Over time, the economic and cultural prosperity began to gradually slow down. <gasps> knock knock. What the? It's the United States. With huge boats. With guns. Not the music. Gun boats. Open <laughs> the country. Stop having it be closed, said the United States. There's what? really nothing they could do, so they signed a contract that lets the United States, Britain, and Russia visit Japan anytime they want. Choshu and Satsuma hated this. That sucks, they said. This sucks. And with almost very little outside help, they overthrew the shogunate and somehow made the emperor the emperor again and moved him to Edo, which they renamed Eastern Capital. They made a new government, which was a lot more Western. They made a new constitution that was pretty Western and a military that was pretty Western. And do you know what else is Western? That's right, it's conquering stuff. So what can we conquer? Korea. They conquer Korea, taking it from its previous owner, China, and then go a little bit further. And Russia rushes in out of nowhere and says, Stop, no, you can't take you that. You know what I wish Japan would do? Try to get some more water. I wish that Japan would revamp their, like, writing system like Korea did. Um, uh, uh, into not using kanji, because kanji is really hard. And Russia builds their railroad, supervised by a shit ton of soldiers. And then when the railroad was done, they downgraded to a fuck ton. Did I say downgrade? I meant upgrade. And Japan says, can you maybe chill? Too late for that, I think. But didn't like, didn't Korea redo their writing system like not even like over 200 years ago? Like wasn't, wasn't that like fairly recent when they redid all of their writing stuffs? I think Japan can still do it. And Russia says, how about maybe you chill? Japan is kind of scared of Russia. You'll never guess who's also kind of scared of Russia. Great Britain. So Japan and Great Britain make an alliance together so they can be a little less scared of Russia. Feeling confident, Japan goes to war against Russia, just for a moment, and then they both get tired and stop. It's time for World War I. The world oh is about no, to have a war, world war because war it's one. the 1900s and weapons are getting crazy, and all these empires are excited to try them out on each other. Meanwhile, Japan has been enjoying conquering stuff when and wants Jong more. Invented the next gold, thing on their list most is... People couldn't read or write, so it was easy to swap. Not so for modern Japan. Oh, okay. This part of China and lots of tiny islands. All that stuff belongs to Germany, which just had war declared on it by Britain because Britain was friends with Belgium, which was being trespassed by Germany in order to get to France to kick France's ass because France is friends with Russia, who was getting ready to kick Austria's ass because Austria was getting ready to kick Serbia's ass because someone from Serbia shot the leader of Austria's ass. Or actually, oh, I remember him. that. And I remember. Is friends with Japan, so you know what that means. Duh, Japan should take the islands. Which they wanted to do anyway. So they called Britain on the telly to sort of let them know. And then they did it. And they also helped Britain a little here and there with some errands and stuff. Now the war is over. And congratulations, Japan. You technically fought in the war, which means you get to sit at the negotiating table with the big dudes where they decided who owns what. And yes, Japan Bruh. gets to keep all that shit they stole from Germany. You also get to join the post-war mega alliance. The League of Nations. Whose mission statement is to try not to take over the world.
The Great Depression is bad, and Japan's economy is now crappy, but the military Sad. is doing just fine, and it evades Manchuria. In the League of Nations, it's like, no, don't do that. If you're in the League of Nations, you're not supposed to take over the world. And Japan said, how about I do anyway? <laughs> Japan oh, gosh. More and more and more and more of China and was planning to invade the entire East. You've got mail. It's from Germany, the new leader of Germany. He has a cool mustache and he's trying to take over the world and needs friends. This also got forwarded to Italy. They all decided to be friends because they had so much in common. It's time for World War II. Germany is invading the neighbors. Then they invade the neighbors' neighbors. Then the neighbors' neighbors' neighbors, who happened to be Britain, said, Holy shit. And the United States started helping Britain because they are good friends. And started not helping Japan because they're friends and our friends are not friends. Plus they're planning on invading the entire ocean. The United States is also working on a large, very huge bomb. Bigger than any other bomb no. ever. No. Just in case. But they still haven't joined the war. War looks bad on TV, and the United States is really starting to care about their image. But then Japan spits on them in Hawaii. You know, Chat bad you on know, TV, like and the United States is really starting to care about this. This like look, this aesthetic. Why do why 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 American not do anymore? Why not no more? It, it's so cute. It's so cute. It's so adorable. Their image, but then Japan spits on them in Hawaii and challenges them to war. And oh they say God, yes, and Pearl then Harbor. Germany, as a symbol of friendship, declares war on the United States. Also, them to wasn't war. it like a really huge miscommunication though? Like I remember, like wasn't it because um like U.S.'s like ships were in like the weird spot in Japan's territory, and then they, that's why like they attacked Pearl Harbor first. Was that the reason? Their image, but then Japan spits on them in Hawaii and challenges them. To war. No. And they say yes. Oh. And then Germany, as a symbol of friendship, declares war on the United States also. So the United States goes to war in Europe. And they help the gang chase Germany back into Germany. Oh, and they also oil. start chasing Japan back into Japan. And they haven't used the bomb yet and are curious to see if it works. So they it drop it on oil. Japan. They actually drop two. I forget what part my my grandma is from in Japan. United States installed a new government, inspired by the United States government, with just the right ingredients for a post-war economic miracle. And Japan starts making TVs, VCRs, automobiles, and camcorders as fast as they can, and also better than everybody else. They get rich, and the economy goes wild, and then the miracle wears off. But everything's still pretty cool, I guess. Bye. That, oh, that's it? That was... Wow. The way that like initially starting to watch this guy, it was a little hard to keep up at first, but like because he talks so fast, I don't know. I think I like assimilated to his pace and then like now I started understanding it a little more better. I have practice from Maxor. Also, cutie gamer, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Hello. Hello, raiders. Yeah, we got practice from Maxor. I wonder what like yeah, because, like, I wonder what, like, Japanese uh, people got to say about, like, this video. I wonder I wonder if it was, like, well-received. Because I know, like, history is, like, usually a really touchy topic for a lot of people. Bottom line it's, like, is that history is boring so but also funny and confusing. This channel is so fucking great. Bottom line is that the history is boring but also funny and confusing. This channel is fucking great. So this person said, Orange Cloth said, it was a pretty good video because it said almost nothing wrong. The content was fine for a foreigner to understand at a glance and it was put together in an interesting way. So even like people from Japan be saying good stuff from it, from this video. Let's read this guy's message. Uh, oh God. Um... Let's see what this person said. There are one or two points that don't add up, but it almost perfectly summarizes Japanese history without being biased towards any one interpretation. Amazing. Wow. So it was pretty well received on the other side too. Let's see. Let's see what this person says. What's the name of the channel? Bill Wirtz. 
Um, so this person said you are a man who understands the history of Japan very well. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. The only quote unquote miscommunication about ships for Pearl Harbor was that Japan couldn't find the American ships they really wanted to destroy. Oh, I see. I'm not really good on history. Like history was always a was like not as interesting to me. I don't I don't know. Like I I barely paid attention in my history classes. Um I I I always paid attention to like biology and chemistry and and like all of, all of that that good stuff. I think my second best subject was um like if if I had to go down from like basic basic education, I would say any type of science course would be like my best and then after that it would be uh it would be like literature and then history and then math that that's what my like strong like from top to bottom what i'm strongest to least strongest even though i'm like not good with speaking i'm like good with like uh what is the powerhouse of the cell uh, the, the mitochondria Small point about Pearl Harbor, the American Navy had received unconfirmed reports of an imminent attack but were complacent and lazy at the time. Oh, they gosh. didn't treat warnings properly and got their asses kicked for it. And you know, like, the shitty thing is, too, like, especially when it comes to history, there's a lot of it, whether or not history is the, the people that is anime teaching. Ever written. It's true, true. The people that teach history or like the country that teaches their own history, they're obviously going to be biased because they don't want their people to like think badly of the if country you like that they reside in. And you're up for it, you should check out the oversimplified Three Kingdoms vid. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like obviously you're going to get a, a one sided story. Um, and it, it's not going to be like obviously like not untrue but things can be untrue or interpreted differently and the history is very very strange because like obviously the the person the person who wins will will write it it can it can it can be a good thing also a bad thing Storytelling. Storytelling. Prime example would be the Battle of the Alamo America started it, not Mexico. Mm hmm This is like a lot of a lot of countries just like have bias, obviously, to make their people like, you know, rally their people up to always like support them. There's always there's always gonna be like some sort of bias. It's it's hard to not find no bias anywhere i think a good good a good a good example though is i remember watching a, a tiktok about this german dude who was talking about like the history or like the education of history in germany and how like they're always super like like always always covering um the world war and shit and like how bad it was and like they're like always reminding their their people like how how bad i guess it, it was and like they're not they're not like sugarcoating anything and like they're one of the best places to learn world history because they were one of the biggest countries who made one of the biggest mistakes seconded to the last dono if you loved dynasty warriors you should watch the oversimplified video about the three kingdoms y yeah oversimplified three kingdoms well i i know like kind of the gist of the the three kingdoms uh because i like played uh, well like uh it's not like a it's not like a like a first-hand account or or like uh, very accurate dis display of of the three kingdoms but i got a good sense of like lore from playing games about the three kingdoms not even just like dynasty warriors but like even um, 
there was a game called literally three kingdoms and it, it was like about i think way and Shu and uh i forget i forget the last one and when Wu? studying history you have to be careful where you get the sources from due to the biases and may need to pull up things from the other side and studying history you have to be careful where to get sources from yeah well i guess this guy is pretty good at it i mean some people i've i haven't seen any like bad comments saying like he was biased or anything but he just tells it as it is and puts a little joke in there to make it more lighthearted. Maybe some people will get offended by it, but like that's like the small minority of people that's just but but hurt over everything and anything. So he's just doing a very vague overview of Japan. Well, I guess I mean it's like a nine-minute video, so I mean he can't really hit every every corner. So it's just a dumbed down version. That's his that's his whole shtick. Vague is pretty good. Cause then like if you get more into in depth and in detail, you're gonna get more people like trying to nitpick and correct you and like get upset. So he's doing a good job at like telling history by doing a dumbed down version. There's a little bit of the debate about the atomic bomb usage, but um, that is common narrative, so not too much people or not too much of a problem with something like this. I don't really even know much about about that either. Meme time. <laughs> Meme time. You can pick like a minor event history and discuss it for hours or days, let alone a country's entire history. That's so true, Yoshi fan. Like. There, it's just like even if even just p picking a small portion that happened in in a small amount of time like over a course of like maybe 10 years you could talk about that for hours on end and this guy covered like the basis of like general concepts or general things that happen over hundreds of years so like i think he did a pretty spectacular job of doing it The reason this it was amazing summary. I agree. I agree. Did a better job of covering stuff that isn't Europe than average American education. Yeah, it was pretty darn good. I feel like it would be it would be a pretty neat video to show. Like if you were a history teacher, you could just like give your students homework uh send that send this video or like give them this video to watch as homework and then they can write their own like little paper about about what they've learned from the video or a little a little summary of what happened in all all the video i think that would be a good way to to engage the current modern day uh kids uh especially with the rise of the technology and shit because like when i was younger um uh, I mean, I still had technology when I was younger and like I still had like a computer and, and a laptop and all that stuff, um, but it was obviously less accessible. So nowadays, I think it's better to include more things that kids currently now use in their everyday life instead of just having the old fashioned textbook and papers and, and all that stuff. There's There's obviously new ways uh, to teach. Please use your thirties are showing. I'm not even old. I'm not, I'm not even old guys. I'm freaking, I'm, I'm freaking young. What do you mean? I'm, I'm prime age. I'm like, I'm like, I'm young. I'm young. I'm not a, I'm not a boomer. I'm young year, years old. Uh, only a couple hundred. It's okay. It, it, it's 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 um it's it, i'm only a couple hundred years old <laughs> i promise you're 69 too i'm much older than that back in her day i'm like i'm young i'm i promise i'm young guys i'm young 
You know I'm young. You you're just te you're just teasing me. <laughs> I I I'm uh, come on. Mom, time for your medication and a nap. God damn it. God damn it. I remember the old days. Sad. She was there for be before the stock market crash. That's so funny that you bring that up because like I was literally talking um with this one old guy uh, uh two days ago or was it yesterday i forget and he was literally giving me an like a brief summary of how to manage your finances and how to prepare for retirement and like he was telling me about iras he was telling me about roths he was telling me about 401ks he was telling me about the stock market crash and where to put your money in stocks and it was honestly a real like I don't even know how I got to that conversation with him, but like he was giving me the rundown of 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 retirement stuff and it was all good information, dude. Like I like I don't even it was it was so helpful. Did you take notes? No, but but now I know what an IRA and a Roth and a and a 401k is. So that's good. I'm young and hip. I'm in I'm in with the I'm in with the the program guys. I know exactly um what the kids like these days. I'm on TikTok, I'm on Twitter, I'm <laughs> I <laughs> I still got it. Um is it Roth IRA the same thing? No, Roth is like, because I know Roth, you can only put a certain amount in uh, at once, uh, like a year. Like it's, um, I think the cap is like 6,500 a year and it's like non-taxable. And then like if you're doing IRA, which is like self-employed re retirement plan, live up to 29 um, days. then that's the Tap taxable one. Which is probably only a few days old. Um, um, I'm young, guys. I'm young. I'm young. Just be careful not to break your hip pretending that heart. I hate you guys. You're so mean to me. You're so mean to me. <laughs> You're so mean to me. I can break your hip, baby. Oh. Doing what? Are we gonna? Is it gonna be a fun time, or, or you're literally gonna like snap, snap my head in half or something? I don't know. Mini golfing? Oh, okay. Well, uh, well, oh seven. I need my hips. Please let me keep them. Ah, uh, hell no. I actually hate golf as a, a, a sport because. It just reminds me of, of like how Yuzu got her groove back. It's just like a huge waste of land, you know. Why are there so many places for golf that is like a cover covering like huge amounts of land, dude? It's so it's such a waste, such a waste. Get on the one. Hola, Nilo. What else would you do with that land? I don't know, something more, um, I don't know, cultivate it for more food, I guess, like more farmland instead of, instead of like a huge waste of like play ball. Mostly. Housing, Mostly. maybe? Housing, farm, food, uh, I don't, I don't know. Mostly. Something pretty. A park? I don't know. Yeah, wait, wait, I'm not even paying attention. Okay Look at on there. Except the occasional bonk from a golf ball. Oh, yeah. Um, there's actually so many golf courses uh, in the area where I live. I think there's actually two, so maybe not many, but... I've seen like two so far. I'm like, that's a lot. 
just like and and not even a lot of people would be using it i'm just like so what's the point of having it I want to go to the gym. I want to be a gym bro. The fucking interstellar music. Or Bustin. Dang, he's gonna be the ultimate fisher, dude. Mi hermanita quería comer un guisito y bueno, acá salió. The spoon melted off. What is that? Bro, what kind of f That's nasty. Who did y'all go? Is this Sons of the Forest? Why does it look so high quality? Got this go cat motor running super good. Bro, I would quit. I would literally quit. Блять, мышка заебала, ебаная, блять. Блять, сука. Ёбань, блять, поганая. Oh my goodness. Oh, the cat. Oh my god. Fuck 12. That's 13, 14, 15, 16. Dang. George Washington bathtub. Hey guys, That's I'm where gonna... George Washington washed himself. He washed himself in general. Hey guys, I'm gonna be reviewing cat food today. Literally knew me. That, that dog don't bite. It's not that bad, but it's kind of bad. And I'd rather ice it than the ice it. Do it, do it, do it. Oh no, it hurt. <laughs> what is that car? It's so skinny. That looks like a cyst. <laughs> the 
What the hell? That dog's gonna rip Who through the metal. Who's building? Me or Kenzie? You. Mango. <laughs> That's Numi when she oh, becomes God. old. <laughs> Bro, I fucked up. This shit don't come off. Did I die in my stash? Bro, it don't come off. <laughs> what are you gonna do if I don't ring the doorbell, huh? What are you gonna do? Oh my god, that guy is so jacked. He's fucking ripped. I wanted you guys to see this new laptop that I got, all right? It unlocks with the Apple what Watch, the, right? What? It's amazing. It's got a fingerprint scanner right here. All of this is a touch screen. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Lovers, lovers. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This mouse was smart enough to set off the trap using a stick. That's a smart freaking rat. What? <laughs> it's Evolution Pegman. <laughs> This experiment is called a Rubens tube. The purpose is to show the relationship between sound waves and sound pressure. Oh. That's Give me the baby cool. Cry. Can you do that? Beep beep. Beep beep. Oh, what's your favorite sound? This pizza man. Imagine, imagine you're like in, in class, right? And the teacher's like, introduce yourself, uh, tell me your hobby, things you like, and something you know how to, uh, something that's like unique about yourself. And then she does this. Can you do that? Beep, beep. <laughs> oh, what's your favorite sound? This pizza man had to make a delivery at a military base and stopped to show respect when the beagle started playing. Ostrich I kept love bothering bacon. this giraffe. I love bacon so much. I remember my friend from Utah, he told me how he used to eat so much freaking bacon that it was to a point that every time he even like just has a smell or scent of bacon, he'll th throw up because he ate so much before and now he just he he doesn't look at bacon the same. I don't think the ostrich supposed to be there. Don't worry, the ostrich wasn't hurt. I found a YouTuber that makes incredibly realistic cakes. I hate it. I hate it already. I oh, I hate it. I hate it. Why? 
Ew. That is terrifying. Someone was driving when they hit a bobcat with their car. The bobcat was somehow completely unharmed, but was stuck inside the front of the car. This is a tick full of blood. The limbs of all arachnids are controlled by blood pressure. So this person realized that squeezing the abdomen of the tick will make their legs move. Oh my god, pop it. Pop it! Does anyone know how this works? I want to see it burst! Does anyone know how this works? What is that? The engine of this motorcycle is so well made that this cup of water hardly moves at all. It's another arthropod. One of your kind. Um, I do not, I, I, I completely dissociate from, from Tix being another member of the arthropod. Um, <laughs> These construction workers needed to slide over this giant bridge. The, the way they did it was using regular dish soap from a grocery store. Soap is very slippery and it gets the job done. Yana Thothid. Wow. That is the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Oh gosh. Oh god. Everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This school bus Stop driver it. had a medical issue and passed out while driving. Ninja, thanks for the nine months. A 13-year-old student managed to stop the bus and save the day. The driver was taken to the hospital and made a full recovery. You can throw a tennis I'm ball. I'm actually like, or you the can... way that the kid knew what exactly to do. Watch one. That's crazy. So this is kind of cool. People are now using AI to edit their YouTube videos. This is what it looks like in real time. Holy cow. That is insane. This person was at a concert when the lasers from the show destroyed their phone camera. Um, that's unfortunate. These people were doing a podcast when this guy dressed up as Jesus suddenly showed up. This is uh, it's just some holy water. I, don't, I feel like you shouldn't drink that out. I agree. <laughs> he just Bro turned water into Damn. wine. <laughs> Legitimately wine. Legitimately wine. Okay. One of my subscribers pulled up to an intersection it's and saw and these lights Jesus. putting on a show. I feel like, so do I go or not? The son was a little suspicious of his mom. You have a friend mm -hmm. that has a lake house? Mm -hmm. Is your friend a man? Uh -huh. He's a man with a lake house. He'll let us stay at his lake house? For free. Is that really no, 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 no. Ain't nothing for free. <laughs> what you doing over there? <laughs> Free. What you doing over there? <laughs> oh my god, baby boy, what are you doing? <laughs> this deer is pregnant and you can see the baby move inside the mom. It's staying so This guy still. made himself his own hovercraft. What? What? A lizard fell into a pool and lost consciousness, but a firefighter was close by and started giving CPR. He's breathing on his own. So we've done yeah. CPR. He's breathing on his own. Bro. We've done CPR. <gasps> Oh my god, he's swallowing. Because of the CPR, the firefighter saved his life. Ah! 
So I learned something new today. The people crossing the southern border to get into the United States are not exclusively from Central and South America. Many of these people come from all over the world. In this case, this border patrol agent found these people that came all the way- I don't way even know what like the border looks like and that's so like surreal to look from at. From India to try and seek refuge in the United States. Came from India, Mumbai, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, Whoa, very soon. What is that? That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. What Later. the hell? Video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll look, look at that. They're like floating on the water. See you guys again almost. very, very soon. Later. That's pretty cool. That's pretty darn cool. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Hydrofoils? I've always wanted to do that thing where the, the you're like strapped to like this gear and it pulls the water inside the gear and then like pushes it out so it, like you're like flying above the water and it just like uh, circulates so that you're always using the water to like to fly I guess. I forget what it's called. This has to be the dumbest driver ever. These the people water said that they were just thing. following their GPS and it said to turn into the water. There's a, water, there's a line in the front of the boat. What the? <laughs> Dumb pog. They were just following their daily dose of internet. This has to be the dumbest driver ever. These people said that they were just following their GPS and it said to turn into the water. There's a, water, there's a line in the front of the boat. <laughs> the GPS told me to. This video got 20 million views on Instagram. Rowan, do the thug shake. The what shake? Do the thug shake. What's that? The thug shake. I don't know what that is. What? Um. This person got an injection in their eye, and you can actually see the medicine move around. <gasps> oh god, I wonder what it looks like for them. Don't want any trouble. <laughs> see, the thing that, that I'm scared about doing is like, I know that I really want to do um, laser LASIK on my, on my pupils so that I don't need glasses anymore. But like, I'm scared because of that one Final Destination scene where the girl did LASIK and then she, she died in a like really gruesome accident from that. And like, I, I just feel like that's going to happen to me, even though that's super highly unre unrealistic and I don't want it to happen to me or I don't want my, my eyes to be bad because like, it's already bad. And if glasses work, then I'll just use glasses. But like, sometimes I hate wearing glasses. Stay away. I'm just trying to go to the bathroom. Oh no! These people painted their entire bathroom using mood ring paint. So the paint changes color depending uh, on the type- I also don't like contacts either because I used to wear them um, too. And they just make my eyes I itchy or dry. And putting them in and taking them out is just- It's too much work for what it's worth. And I just- I pretty much just use my glasses whenever I go outside. Which is kind of- on a rare occasion, I guess. Temperature. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, imagine sitting on it and then your butt is just left there. Like paint your butt, your butthole on it. This poor guy lost his pizza in the wind, but he still ate it anyways. Dang. If I were the worker, I would just give him a new pizza, honestly. <gasps> Hold on, y'all, because I had to swoop back around real quick. I know for a fact these did not draw the front of their whip. <laughs> did did it? <laughs> oh, no, hell no. Nah. These did not draw the front of their whip. Draw the front of their whip. 
GM if you give Eli the ball, they will have no idea what to do. <laughs> Those birds are so ugly. <laughs> A cockroach showed up at this fashion show. Cockroach. What is that? <gasps> Why? I have never heard the sound of a butterfly's wings before. Ooh. <gasps> oh gosh. Why is that so funny to me? So this video Wait, I want. I don't know. That reminded me of. Hold on. Let me watch. Let me watch. Let me. Let me show this to you guys. Um. <laughs> I can't. I'm just reminded me of this video. I can't. <laughs> the 10p. The 10p. Oh, that's so good. At 150 million <laughs> views on TikTok. Stop. <laughs> I told you no. Oh, cute. Very cute. That is the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. I want to show you guys this one clip that was taken from last night's stream. It was so hilarious. Um, um, hold on. You guys are there, but like, it was so fucking funny to me. Does anyone have the one where it was like, uh, it was like, uh, when, when Numi sent me a picture with that recommended vid, where, where? This thumbnail. Oh, this one. Middle right. Middle right. Oh, this one? Oh, God. I wanna, I wanna show you guys that you're so ugly one. That one was hilarious to me. Okay, I found it. I found it. Shit! <gasps> new, it's for context. Numi sent me a picture of her new haircut and she dyed her hair again. And, and like, I, I, I did like a huge long pause and like, I wanted to think of something funny to say, but I couldn't. So I just ended up saying this Shit. instead. <gasps> oh, wait. Uh, maybe I should move. Wait, 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 wait. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> um... <laughs> What? You're so fucking ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs>
That was so fucking no, funny, The way bro. she fucking laughed. The way she fucking <laughs> laughed. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love you. <laughs> Watch the voice crack clip. No fucking way y'all clipped that. Where is it? Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Voice crack clip? Oh no. Alright, let me find it. Where? Where is it to me? Um, uh, uh. Yeah, I can't find it right now. It's nowhere to be seen. It's nowhere to be seen, bestie. Oh, wait, I just got an update from my artist. Hold on. Give me. Ooh, Pog. Okay. I see. It should be finished in a couple of days. <laughs> no, bitch. You well, um, that's all the memes that I had for now. I think it's about that time we start playing some games.